हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर रिसर्च ऑफिसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नॉमी एट जी बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंतनगर उत्तराखंड नाउ टुडे टॉपिक इज चिलेट न्यूट्रिएंट साइकिल व्हाट इज चिलेट न्यूट्रिएंट साइकिल एंड हाउ इट इज़ हेल्पफुल फॉर द प्लान न्यूट्रिशन एंड हाउ दिस साइकिल इम्प्रूव और इंक्रीजेज द न्यूट्रियट एबिलिटी टू प्लान रूट्स सो दिस साइकिल इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द न्यूट्रियट एबिलिटी this cycle helps in increasing the nutrient availability and particularly the nutrient which are available through this cycles are micronutrient and particularly metallic cations so micronutrients are required in less quantity and metallic metallic cations means metallic micronutrients are available through this cycle and these are f e c u m n z n so this cycle is very important means chelet increases the ability of particularly these four metallic cations iron copper manganese and zinc and if we talk about the chelet chelet are the complex or the organic compounds or we can say the compound which make the complex or which make the bond with this micronutrients and increases the uh, their ability actually chelet is greek word a uh, greek word uh which means claw claw and which hold the claw uh, which hold or which uh, fix the uh, anything so this chelate are the organic compounds we can say these are the organic compounds and which make the bond which make the bonds or the complex complex with this metallic cations so metallic cations are now fixed in this organic compound structure so there is a structure and this structure they make the bond and this compound is soluble compound and thus increases the ability so after the weathering or after the fertilizer application micronutrients are present in soil and these nutrients are subjected to insoluble form and precipitated or adsorbed the other compounds that's why their ability is decreased so problem with this metallic cation is that they are either precipitated as a insoluble compound or adsorbed on the other uh, compounds or clay or organic matter or oxides or hydroxides or carbonates so that's why their availability is reduced but if this metallic cations make the bond or the complex with this organic compounds then there uh, there is no precipitation uh, no insoluble compound formation no adsorption and this compound is soluble and it increases and these compounds this chelate metallic compound uh, move uh, towards the root through diffusion and it release the nutrient at the root surface and availability is increased so this is known as chelate nutrient cycle and how this cycle take place we'll discuss here uh, then you can uh, understand how uh, this uh, chelate increases the availability of this particular metallic nutrient actually these uh, metallic why are only for metallic nutrients because these met metallic nutrients are cation and they are uh, active or we can say reactive and make the bond so bond formation is important so those compound or those cations which can make the bond they uh, their ability can be increased if it doesn't make any bond then it cannot be fixed with the chelate to kisi bhi nutrient ka chelate ke sath बॉन्ड बना के कंपाउंड बनाना जरूरी है तभी उसकी एबिलिटी बढ़ेगी अगर वो कंपाउंड नहीं बना पा रहा है बॉन्ड नहीं बना पा रहा है तो उससे चिलेट्स के थ्रू नहीं बढ़ेगी और ये मेटेलिक कैटाइंस जो भी हैं एफ ई सी यू एम एन जेड एन ये कैटाइंस है ये तुरंत ऑर्गेनिक स्ट्रक्चर्स के साथ कॉम्प्लेक्स कर लेते हैं बॉन्ड बना लेते हैं इसी कारण से इन्हीं की एबिलिटी ज़्यादा बढ़ती है तो वी सी द प्लांट रूट दिस दिस इज द रूट सपोज दिस इज द रूट एंड दिस इज द प्लांट एंड चिलेट्स आर प्रजेंट एंड चिलेट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल साइट्रिक एसिड साइट्रिक एसिड इज देयर एंड ऑक्जलिक एसिड दीज आर द नेचुरल नेचुरल चिलेट्स आर देयर एंड द अदर सिंथेटिक में भी ई डी टी ए ई डी टी ए डी टी पी ए और ई डी डी एच ए सो दीज दे आर मैनी ऑर्गेनिक नेचुरल कंपाउंड सो दीज आर द कॉमन कंपाउंड सो दीज आर द चिलेट्स ओके एंड हाउ दिस चिलेट फॉर्मेशन नेचुरल चिलेट्स फॉर्मेशन टेक प्लेस the synthetic by the fertilizer or by the application and manufacturing but natural chelates are there these are the natural chelates and these are the synthetic chelates 
so by the application and this there are many chelates many acids amino acids organic acids are there which behave like a chelate means the make the complex and these are the organic so these chelates uh, natural chelates may be uh, due to um, number a um, synthesized by microbes synthesized by microbes may be present number two uh, number two uh, due to root exudates root exudates they are present in root exudates uh, uh, this roots uh, lysis is there decomposition of root is there so they are present microbes are present which synthesize this compound number three decomposition of organic matter so during the decomposition of organic matter uh, these compounds are released so amino acids are there many organic acids are there and these are the very common citric acid and oxalic acid and these are the synthetic okay and then uh, micronutrients are present for example i am indicating it as a m m this is the micronutrient and this may be due to micronutrient may be due to fertilizers may be due to fertilizers or may be due to weathering of rocks weathering of rocks then this chelates make a compound uh, chelate cm we can say it is cm compound this is the chelate micronutrient complex formation is there it, it, it make the complex with this and this is the soluble compound okay so this is the formation this is the formation of this chelate uh, micronutrient or nutrient complex so this is the complex we can say and this uh, hold by the uh, make the bond and this is the soluble and now this this complex move uh, towards the root because here the concentration is low and here concentration is more as the nutrient is released in the soil solution it is in soil solution it is in soil solution and this is the root and at the root very less concentration so that's why because of concentration uh, difference this move towards the root so this is due to diffusion due by diffusion okay so at this place so this complex move here concentration is more in soil solution and it moves towards the root and at the root surface at the root surface actually the chelates are present here so they, the chelates are soluble and they, they are moving here and there. So they are present in soil solution. They are present everywhere. These chelates are present because they are synthesized by the roots, microbes and uh, organic decomposition. So chelates are present uh, in soil solution. And as the nutrient is released, it makes this complex. This chelates makes the complex and move towards the root because of concentration gradient. Now at this place, this CM complex is break down and chelate is separated and nutrient is separated so both are separated so this is the mechanism so now the nutrient is present in the root zone or rhizosphere and now this nutrient is absorbed by the root so this is the process so cm is moving to this direction by diffusion force so now this chelate is released and so bond is break down to jo bond hai in dono ke beech ka yahan root surface pe ja ke chemical reactions hote hain in reaction se ye bond toot jata hai aur chelate alag ho jata hai aur jo micronutrient jo nutrient hai micronutrient hai fecu ya mn jaden wo root zone mein release ho jata hai now it is released so it is released and then now this c is free so now this c is chelate is free and then this chelate move towards into the soil solution because now the concentration of chelate is more and now here it is less in solution solution so that's why diffusion it chelates move uh, in soil solution chelates move into soil solution and then again make the complex with the nutrient so this is the cycle this is the cycle it is moving from soil solution to the root surface and chelates move from the root surface to the soil solution by the diffusion here chelate concentration is more after the release of nutrient and here chelate concentration is low so that's why it move move through diffusion so this is also the diffusion so this is the movement of the chelate nutrient complex into the root surface by the diffusion process and after the release of nutrient chelates move again into the solution by the diffusion process so diffusion is the main process which is responsible so the, by this cycle so this is the cycle and chelates are moving here and there and these are the source so chelates by root exudates by decomposition by the microbes and then the nutrient release by the fertilizer or the weathering suppose there is no chelate suppose there is no chelate formation only nutrient is there suppose m is there only m is there so then this m means micronutrient uh, means uh, fe plus plus or zn plus plus 
और कॉपर प्लस प्लस और मैग्नीज और फेरिक वॉट एवर इज देयर वॉट एवर इज देयर ओके दिस मेटलिक कटेंस इफ सपोज देर इज नो चिलेट इन अबसेंस ऑफ चिलेट दे मेक द इन सोलबल कंपाउंड ऑक्साइड्स हाइड्रोक्साइड्स and they are precipitated and they are adsorbed on the calcium carbonate magnesium carbonate and the clay and may be subjected to uh, immobilization uh, used by the microbes so they are fixed into the clay uh, by, sorry by the organic matter so organic matter complexion is there so immobilization may be there precipitation may be there adsorption is there so these are subjected to so these are subjected to adsorption adsorption on the other compound they are precipitation as a insoluble compound precipitation as a insoluble compound or the immobilization used by the microbes and this process this process reduce the availability and when chelates are there so chelate complex formation is there this is a soluble compound and it move by the diffusion uh, force so this process are reduced so this process are reduced and this process increased and so nutrient Micronutrient availability is increased. So this is the process how chelate increase the nutrient cycle. So many organic chelates are there, and synthetic chelates may be applied uh, to increase their availability. So EDTA is very common. Copper EDTA, zinc EDTA, and in case of iron EDDHA is very uh, important uh, chelate for uh, increasing their availability. So this is the chelate nutrient cycle, and this cycle is by the diffusion. and chelates are present in soil solution so as the nutrient is released chelate formation is there and this is a soluble compound it move towards the root and then formation is break down and the, this nutrient is absorbed and this chelate come into the soil solution so this is the use and this chelate again make the complex with the micronutrient it move towards the root and there is break down bond is break down this micronutrient is used and this chelate come into the soil solution so this is the process how uh, the chelate increases the a uh, nutrient ability and it is particularly for metallic cations because these metal cations are reactive and make the bond with this organic compound so this is the reason that why uh, these uh, nutrients uh, are very important uh, uh, for the chelate complex formation so this is the uh, chelate nutrient cycle thank you very much